So, I wanted to talk about the situation because the video from Glenn just came out about, about this. So, Ninja did an interview. Uh, and he was basically saying how the hate is getting to to himself, to Ninja. And I just want to talk about this because I feel like I have fallen into the demographic of quote-unquote hating Ninja. I want to preface this. I do not hate Ninja. Not on a personal level. Not on a... Not on a YouTuber level. Not on a... Not on any level. I love Ninja. I actually am a fan, I'd say. Um, because he's probably the only Fortnite YouTuber still standing. Um, and that's an amazing feat. Um, the shit that I have said is completely unfair ninja does lose some some of his games and he still continues to play to give a season a chance but um i do disagree with a lot of his takes and that's not hating it seemed it only seemed like hating because i made two videos back to back about criticizing him um but i swear i do not hate him at all um, the reason I make those videos back to back is because, um, I have a habit of doing stuff impulsively. So when I hear about a situation I disagree with, I am going to go ahead and make a video about it, you know, give me my opinion, because that's what this channel is about. It's about me. It's about, um, it's about you. It's about a lot of, it's about a lot of things. But I understand as a host, I have to give my takes on certain things. Um, do I have to? Obviously not. But I get passionate about certain stuff and I get excited. Um, and then I just go on to make a video about stuff without doing research. Um, because as a YouTuber, I, you know, I get passionate about YouTube because I love YouTube. It's a hobby. It's not a job to me. It's a hobby. I don't make any money off of the videos. And even if I did, I'd still have passion for YouTube. Um, I don't plan on quitting YouTube anytime soon. But anyway, um, on to the topic at hand, Ninja. I don't think that Ninja deserves the amount of hate that he's been getting the past couple of years. Although he does have pretty bad taste or... Yeah, he has pretty bad takes on stuff, like, this season. This season of Fortnite's pretty good. And he doesn't like it because um, it's hard to win. And I only semi stand by that. I don't think it's fair to say that because he has a challenge um, that he's quitting Fortnite. Um... Uh, that was completely unfair on my part. Um, but I do think that he is a little bit pampered when it comes to Fortnite. Like, they, they probably literally... They made Reload probably because of him to keep him. Um, and yeah. I also said Ninja fear mongers Epic Games. That's not fair at all either. Uh, many, many of fans fear monger... Um, Epic Games saying that if you don't change this, I'm quitting Fortnite. Um, and Ninja hasn't said that. I mean, he said that he's quitting Fortnite, but then always comes back. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Ninja does not deserve any bullying, hate, or death threats. If you, uh, if you. Um, if you sent him death threats or bullied him, you are scum, and I don't want you on this channel. Um, I may not know Ninja on a personal level, but I know that he's fucking human. So, if you sent him anything, um, if you sent him anything like that, get out of my channel. Because we don't endorse hate here. 
sure, I make a lot of videos talking about people I do hate. Um, but Ninja's not one of them. Uh, and this channel's mainly supposed to be about positivity, you know. Um, also talking about the latest topics, um, that pertain to my likings. So, like, when it comes to gaming and, like, games that I like playing, um, that's when I start, that's when I talk about stuff. I'm not gonna be, like, a moist critical where I cover every single thing that happens on this platform. That would take me years, because <laughs> I'm slow. I'm very slow. Um, but yeah. Uh, I want to make an apology. Um, if Ninja sees this, I doubt he will. But if he does, I am deeply sorry that uh, if it came off like I hated you. I do not hate you. You're one of my favorite Fortnite players as of right now. Not that there is many. Um, but you're, you're the person that I go to, um, for, like, Fortnite entertainment, because Laserbeam never fucking uploads. <laughs> At least he doesn't upload Fortnite content as much. Um, Loser Fruit, I kind of fell off watching. Um, but I still watch her every now and again. But other than that, Ninja's the main person that I go to for Fortnite. Obviously, there's also Postbox Pat. Um, but he's more of a, you know, map change type person. Um, but yeah. Um, if it come, came off like I hated Ninja, I'm deeply sorry about that. I do not hate Ninja. I don't really hate any YouTuber that, that isn't a pedophile or, um, has done horrible things in their past. Like... I genuinely, I don't hate people. I may dislike people, but I don't hate them. I don't even dislike Ninja. Like I said, I watch him, um, and I don't hate watch him. Like I think a lot of people would probably assume. I do not hate watch him. I watch him watch him. Like I genuinely like his stuff. I think it's cool that he. I think he is the person that kickstarted um, YouTubers and streamers and and influencers. I think he kickstarted um, them being recognized in games because I never, I don't, I never noticed um, YouTubers getting in games as much as I have since Ninja's been on the platform and ever since he got his icon skin. Um, but yeah, um, I do not hate Ninja. I don't want you guys to ever think that I hate Ninja. Um, I'm not a hateful person. But yeah. Uh, so Ninja, again, doubt he's going to see this, but um, I'm sorry I made those videos. If you must know, I have autism and that causes me to be very impulsive. So um, those videos back to back were not because I was very passionate about hating you. I was very passionate about spreading my opinion on um your take and that came and i came off very very spiteful i came off very very hateful and i did not mean for that and i will try to work on it i will try to work on taking it back a little bit um, reading the situation more rather than just like nose diving into it because that's how people get into massive drama not that this drama is massive because realistically there is no drama um, it's just I feel bad I just feel bad because um, I didn't know that Ninja felt so strongly about the hate I thought that he gets a lot more positive than negative so so I was like eh my comments, my video won't matter to anything. But now seeing that hate has really gotten to him, um, I feel awful about what I've said. Um, so yeah, Ninja, I'm really sorry. Bye. Or, sorry, make sure to like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications, and yeah. Uh, see you guys later.